it is Skip's first day as a White House intern. And it's been a very long day. And Barack has asked him to come back to the Oval Office. And he locks the door behind them. And Skip's a little nervous. He's heard stories about interns. And Barack says, sit down, Skip. You've been on your feet all day. And Barack goes over to the television and places a DVD in the DVD player. And says, now this show is probably a little before your time, but I want you to relax and watch it. It's, it's funny. Yeah, it's from the 70s. And after they watch the television show, the sitcom, Barack says, you look tense. Skip, you've been lugging stuff around for me all day long. I bet you back sore. Let me fix it up for you. And Skip may be on his first date as an intern, but he knows enough about politics to say, oh, yes, sir. And yes, five minutes later, Barack is walking on Skip's back, just like in that funny sitcom. And then when they're all done. Skip stands back up and Barack hands him a card. He says, you send that shirt to my dry cleaners. They'll fix it up for you. And, yeah, Skip's, the back of Skip's shirt has some scuff marks on it, some footprints. And before you go, Skip, Yeah, uh, Skip knows exactly what that means. He opens up that little briefcase that they gave him, and yeah, it's got Barack's white girlfriend. His drug of choice, no, not censorship. Guys, remember what my attention getting fiction is all about. Drawing attention to our blatantly censored poems, mail, and internet. You want to see Barack Hussein Obama walking all over you? Call 424-229-0911 with a World Trade Center check on your phone. Uh, unless you're that first person to reach me with that check of your phone. And the over five years I've had it. Certify your mail to me to show where that dangerous censorship comes from. Your mail is stolen as well as your calls have proof of someone walking all over America. And come find me, 6 o'clock, she's the tallest thing in L.A., 433 of Baltimore. Show me that mail being stolen from us and tell me what you would have said. Had your phone been allowed to work? And think of what can happen when unnewsworthy censorship like that is allowed to go on in America.